I've grown up in North America my whole life. Um, we have so many luxuries here. You can have electricity whenever you want it, right? You can have lights on at all times during the day. It doesn't matter if it's rainy or sunny or cloudy. Um, you can get hot water whenever you want. And we really do take this for granted, I think. It's such a luxury. And 1.5 billion people don't have access to electricity. And right now they don't have the infrastructure that's needed to set up grids. And that's a major issue. The Sun Saluter is something that has to meet their needs in their world. I've always been really fascinated by the idea of biomimicry. So sunflowers have been following the sun to optimize their performance since the beginning of time. What we want to do is make solar panels follow the sun just like a sunflower would. We usually try to use bamboo because it's very sustainable and it grows really, really quickly. And so in a lot of the countries that we're going to be working in, bamboo is incredibly popular. The sun saluter is a passive system, so it doesn't use any electricity um, in rotating. You pour water into the system at the beginning of the day, and using the weight imbalance and the water flow, you can optimize its energy collection by up to 40% every day. Good technology is something that's simple, something that anyone, whether you're five years old or a university professor or some farmer in Tanzania, you'd be able to look at it and just be like, I get it. It would be extremely awesome if a whole village was powered by sun saluters and every family would have a sun saluter in their backyard. It's no fun inventing something in your basement all by yourself, right? It's only meaningful and has an impact if, if you're sharing it out there with someone else.